welcome back to my channel. I just did a whole recording and it was on the wrong mood or mode mood. Well, that's my mood right now. But I'm gonna go and um, go ahead and do these swatches for you guys. I got the Dream Street, uh, the collaboration with ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. This is the palette right here. It's not that big, really. It's quite small. My hands are really little, so. Uh, yeah, this is the size of it, and this is what's inside. Now, what drew me to this palette was this dark green color, and I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but that's what drew me to this palette right here was that kind of bluish green color. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the swatches for you guys. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to let you guys know that these pot sizes are about the size of a nickel, um... Yeah, I would say about the size of a nickel. Not even a quarter, maybe a quarter. You know what, let me just go get one, hold on. Okay, out of all the change in the world, I couldn't even find a god dang nickel. So what I did find was a quarter. We all know about the size of a quarter is, right? So that doesn't even fit in there, but here's a dime. So let's just go with is about the size of a nickel. <laughs> now that we've cleared that up, I know that this is probably a late review, but better late than never, right? So let's go ahead and get into these swatches. Okay, so this eye is already done. This eye is already primed. Just to make this process go a little bit faster. Um, I realize I never do a brow bone highlight. So today I'm doing a brow bone highlight. So I am going to be taking this color right here, which is called Spark. This one right here. And I'm using some new brushes today. Uh, they're from Vanity Planet. I'm trying to see if I like them or not. Oh no. So I'm going to pop that right underneath the brow bone, eyebrow, the brow bone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I always say that. And then I am going to go into this color right here, which is called Water Bearer. And I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to put that as a transition color right above my crease kind of taking it up to that brow highlight and I'm going to be building up the intensity slowly but surely okay so once you have that done it should look a little something like this now I'm taking that same blending brush but I cleaned it off and I'm going to be going into this color right here called potion this green one the one that drew me immediately to it and she got a little bit of a kickback so we gonna have to be gentle with that one and I think I got too much so I'm gonna take some of that off and I'm going to focus that color right here on this outer V part of my eye and I'm going to do my circular motions <laughs> circular motion and I'm going to take that up into the crease and I'm going to keep intensifying that color okay so um, with that pretty green green the green color on there I'm gonna go back into that transition color what was the name of this transition color water bearer she must be an Aquarius because that's what we are. Anyway, I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to go right back on top of that color to put some of that transition color back in there to make it look more like this eye. 
and I'm gonna slowly build that up as well okay so now that we've got this done you guys are going to totally laugh at me when you find out how I got this color so <laughs> what I did was I took this other green color right here which is called kaleidoscope this one right here and I'm gonna pack that all over the lid and when I come back you guys are about to find out how I got this color now that you got that on to your eyes I'm gonna tell you right now this one looks slightly different from this one in person and let me tell you what I did I was going back in to the same color and that just did not happen I accidentally picked up the wrong color and put it on my eyelid so what we're gonna do is take this color right here called magical and I am going to take a little bit of that on the same flat brush and I'm just going to pat that where the green is just a little bit and then once you're done doing that that's that moment where I was like oh shit I done got the wrong damn color so I was like oh 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 I know how to fix this I could just put the green right on top which actually came out kind of cute so yeah that's what we're doing so now that you got that brown color right there we're just gonna take the green which was called kaleidoscope and we're gonna put that right over that brown metallic color and boom bam that's how I got this color <laughs> now that that is done I am going to go ahead and do my highlight and I'm going to be taking one of these uh, pointy brushes that has a point at the tip and I'm going to go for did I use spark or did I use mermaid oh good god I hate this I think I use magical or no I'm lying I think I use you know what let me find out when you film late at night I'm gonna take the color magical right here and that is going to go into the inner corner of my eyeballs and then after that is there I've been feeling the whole changing the lower lash line color completely different from the whole look so I'm gonna go into this color right here called Mooney and I'm going to put that all over the black bottom lash line and then once you're done doing that you are going to line your eyes and pop on your mascara and all that good stuff and I'll be back with my final thoughts of this palette this is the final look my thoughts on this palette is it's pretty good for it to be how much you have to pay maybe like 20 something bucks for it um, this color right here is absolutely gorgeous the potion but I did notice um, when I gently tapped it in there it was a little bit of kickback so you might want to be careful with that color if you do decide to purchase this I got mines from Ulta um, so I didn't have to special order or anything I don't know if it's still available it's been like how long y'all tell me how long this has been out because I forgot so anyway um, love the color combination that you came up with I mean you could do something quite dramatic or something very subtle something for work it's a pretty good palette I have no problems with it um, it's very neutral and warm for my take because I like a lot of color but that's just me so anyway remember to rate comment subscribe and share share this tutorial leave your comments down below if you bought this or if you already have it and until next time I will see you guys in the what in the next video bye Mwah.